Hi everyone. Nobody's here yet, so we're gonna wait a few minutes see if anybody shows up. I will upload this later, so that's what I'm talking now. I'm gonna open a huge jewelry jar. It's easier to do it live. Probably could see it better if I filmed it, but hi Anna. I was, uh, I was gonna, but I, if I film it, I have to break it down in so many videos and it takes so long to upload. Hi, Ruth. I'm glad you guys got the notifications. I am going to be opening this. If you watch my video on what I found at that Salvation Army when I was in St. Louis, I'm gonna be opening. I'm sorry about the wiggle. Huge jewelry jar. I already know that there is a loose pins by Lucinda in there. It's one of the reasons I bought it, right? There. I need you guys to tell me um, if I look better with this light on like this. Oh, can you see better with that? Let me hold up the jewelry again. Is that better with that light on? It's sort of my redneck um, lighting kit because it's just a stand up light. I'm not paying two hundred dollars for a lighting kit. Are you kidding me? I think I paid twelve dollars on that at Walmart. It's like one of those lights that's got gooseneck that you can bend, but it stands up tall. Does this look better like this? I'll show you again. That Lucinda pin is like right there. I can even read that it has it says pins by Lucinda on the back. Hi, Cherry Berry. We are doing well. So can you, so yes, we can see better with the light on. Okay, I'll leave the light on then. It's positioned good. I'm going to open this huge, I mean, this thing's heavy. I know it's heavy because the, this glass is really thick, this vase. But um, I'm going to open it on here. So um, that's just the quality of my um, internet. Do you think it's too blurry to do a video? Because if I video, if I if I have to tape this, opening this, it's going to take a long time to upload, and it'll be like five parts. I know it's blurry because I don't have very good internet signal here. We've been um, using up a lot of our internet speed, our data for the month. So I'll try to hold still so I don't pixelate. I'll try to hold really, really still. Oh, good. We'll come to the auction uh, Thursday. I have it at 630 Central. This is the biggest jar I got. If you guys, did you guys watch my video um, about, I just uploaded the one where it was actually the bin video. And if you don't know, the reason why I didn't take more pictures of in the bins at the St. Louis Goodwill bins was because, like I told you on my previous video, when we walked in, a, a worker stopped us and asked us if we work there and we were like you work for the company and i said no at first i said huh i was like no and he said well if they catch you with that you're in trouble and i get we get kicked out so i don't know how these youtubers i guess each goodwill has their own policy the bin at the, the each goodwill bins has their own policy because i see a lot of youtubers videoing in their big old cameras but so when i tell you that i'd never go back because it was dirty it wasn't like the dishware that i showed you was dirty all everything else was just broken stuff that I wouldn't even I mean seriously it would need to be thrown away. I'm not like picky picky, but I do have a little bit of you know I do have my limits. Let's put it that way. So we're gonna open this jar. I have um my sister also gave me this diamond tester, so I have a diamond tester now. We can we can we can hope, right, that we get diamonds. She gave me this diamond selector too. Uh, tester. So, um, you take this rubber little tip off of here. I think it has a little point thing. So we might use that on something, on some, it just tests for diamonds. It's not a gem tester because gem testers are like 300 bucks and no, better. girlfriend, no. You just say girlfriend, no. Because I just bought a camera that I filmed. I opened the first one of these last night and I filmed it on my new camera. I you guys want to see my new camera? It's new to me, okay? I go get my new camera while more people show up. Hit that thumbs up if you will, guys. It helps people find me in the uh, 
get me suggested in their little YouTube suggestion videos. Okay. This is my new to me camera. Remember I told you I bought one off of Macari and the lady scammed me and thought she was going to get away with it because it didn't work. Got my refund though. I bought the same one off eBay and it's, it's a Canon, it's a Canon IS, S3IS, something like that. Anyway, it's one of those ones with the flip out screen that turns so I can video and take digital pictures. Now, this is a 2006, so that's why it's new to me. Um, and I looked it up in 2006. If you would have bought this new, it was a $480, $480 camera. I paid four to five dollars for it. That included shipping. <laughs> this girl don't pay that much. Hi, Nana's treasure call. So this is my new camera. See, it's got flash. So it's 2006, like I said. But it, I'm gonna, I'll upload the video. See how good a video quality it films. I'm still learning how to use it. So I've got that. I've got my diamond tester ready. I've got my loop-de-loo and everything else. So let's start busting into this jewelry jar. Got a tray over here where I'm going to dump it out and hold up each piece and show you guys. So, um, there's a lot of tape on this. People, Some people left me messages on that video where I showed you the jewelry jar and just had, that they were a cheap price. Because this huge one is only, look, if you guys can see, it's only $20. It was only $20. So, um, Oh, your name is Peggy. Okay, hi Peggy. Um, they said, "Oh, I would have got all of them." Well, I wanted to see if you know the quality of the jewelry jars before I bought a bunch of them, because you guys know that I went over to that one store and I had to stop getting them that I videotaped. And you guys were like, "Oh, look at all the jewelry jars!" But like I said, they were crud. She put junk in there. She put Barbie doll shoes in there. So you have to buy a couple just to. I'll, I will drive back to St. Louis, which is a two-hour drive, to get some more jewelry jars if these are worth it. I will drive back just to go to that Salvation Army. It was a nice Salvation Army. After being in the bins, I was like, you'll, you'll hear me on my video go, oh, this is so much nicer. I uploaded that video today. This is stuck to the glass. Not glass, stuck to the tape. Sorry, I'm doing this kind of carefully. Though. My area didn't have them for a long time, Cherry. And then Salvation Army started making them up. And then once I started buying them, he kept making them up. Now, our the Goodwill that's closest to me, they only have like a bag of jewelry. And they usually want $30 for it. It's as is. You know it's not. You can tell it's not good things. And it's not, it's non-returnable and they never mark them down. I don't think they were vintage Barbie shoes though. And it was only one. I think Barbie needs two shoes. Sorry to take me so long, but I want this tape off here. Okay. So the first thing I pulled out of here is broke so not a good sign but it's good repurpose it's a stretchy bracelet that is just those cheap plastic reflecting reflecting things but somebody could take that and repurpose it here's a nice reminds me of 80 style stretchy bracelet it's hot pink i don't know if it's coming off hot pink um, it's really not that stretchy, more of a slide on, if I can slide on, it matters, it matches my shirt I have on, because over my big old wrist, eh, not bad, but it's got some slack, see, in there, in the, uh, stretchy part of it, okay, I see something on top here, and this is juice, yeah, I drop everything. This is just Juicy Couture, but it's missing some rhinestones, I think. Maybe it's not. It's a dark rhinestone. 
This is a Juicy Couture um, pendant. I don't think it's missing rhinestones because see how the uh, every other one is like dark colored. The crown with Juicy and the heart is Juicy Couture. And it is a pendant. There's a little butterfly ring. Oh, what is this? Oh. I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. It's like a adjustable butterfly ring, but it's got this chain and then butterfly where I've, I've seen the rings where they attach to a bracelet, but it looks like it's missing the bracelet. Or maybe you just wear it. You have a butterfly hanging from your finger with that. That would be weird, though. Oh, I can see it's missing something. So, see, I picked out some repurposed stuff already. Ooh, closet. 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 I see closet. Do you know I see? Do you know I see closet? Tangle up. We will get to it. Oh, cute little brooch. Here's a cute little watering can brooch. It's plastic. I've never seen a watering can brooch. It's kind of, it's neat. You guys are quiet. Are you just watching or I'm not like buffering or anything. Am I? This is one of those, um, Put your belt loops through. You put your scarf through that, couldn't you? I don't know if anybody like that. It's plastic. Oh, this is what I ran to in the other one. Oh, this isn't even a hair tie. Maybe it's not. I thought it was a hair tie. It's got a tag on it. I guess it's, sometimes they make these things. They look like, uh, oh yeah, that would be cute. My mom's a good, like I showed you guys are that, did you guys watch that video where I showed you the property we live on? My mom's the gardener. She's not going to be her green thumb. This is Alexa, Alexa's Angels. Anybody heard of Alexa's Angels? It looks like a hair tie, but I think it's one of those hair tie bracelets. Alexa's Angels? Not familiar to me. I killed an aloe vera plant one time. I mean, that's how bad I am. This is a cute little, um, I'll put it on Matilda. It's a cute little, like, multi seed pearl necklace, and it's got a magnetic clasp. That's pretty. You can't really see, but it's got gold, gold be seed beads in it too, and then faux pearls. That's pretty. Remember, I only paid twenty dollars for this huge jar. This is almost a foot tall jar. I seem to find a lot of pendants, and I like it because you guys buy them. Here's a nice star pendant, and it's not missing any of its rhinestones. It is silver, like silver tone. It's really pretty. It's not marked or anything. We can see if it sticks to a magnet. I just heard my car. Um, okay, I just heard my car horn honk. So my mom must have did something with my car. It doesn't stick to the magnet. Oh, unfortunately, it's broke right there. I just noticed that. It's like broke attaching one of the stars. So that would be, be put in repurpose. Okay. I see this is, this is a gold tone, um, metal gold tone cuff bracelet. That might clean up decent. I don't know. It's, it's got... I can't tell if this is, needs to be cleaned, or I think the plating's coming off of it. Highly magnetic. I'm not keeping that, guys, because it is like it's got it's like got most of its finish off. So don't get on to me for throwing it away. 
Here's a watch. I had a watch that looked just like this. This is an LTD. In that catalog, yeah, LTD catalog. But I do um, have watch batteries, and I put them in there and get them started. And, and you can sell watches. So I'm going to watch. In my auction, you notice I had that charm bracelet, and it had a little watch clock on it. And I uh, changed the battery in it, and it worked fine. This is an odd, like, cord. And you guys know how I feel about cord necklaces. So, trash. Uh, wooden bead wrap around bracelet. Kind of cool. Something I put together with some other, you know, stretchy bracelets. That's neat. Got all the browns, brown tones in it. Oh, here, let me try to get this closet A1 untangled. Talk amongst yourselves while I try to get this because this. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's a New Yorker necklace in here, too. Oh, I need my mom down here. She loves to untangle stuff. She says she doesn't. She, just, she never said she loved it, but she said that she doesn't mind doing it. I'm like, I don't like it at all. Some kind of tie tech in there, too. What is this forward on it? Oh, this Claws and A piece is so pretty, but it's on a stupid cord. I just don't. Did you guys like stuff on cords? Hi, Barbie. Oh, uh oh. You guys like stuff with cords on it? I'm gonna have to untie this cord to get it untangled. I just don't. I mean, I know I've I've run across Leah Sophia stuff that is um cords. Hey, did you guys? I I found a necklace that had a hang tag and it's marked LR. Now I looked it up and it said it was um can't remember what it said it was now, but it was vintage. It was the company that's vintage. Who, who's LR? Barbara, you'd know. Lady Remington. That's what it was. I found a, a a set of faux pearls that are knotted in between, and they're Lady Remington. That's pretty good, right? Is there a vintage? I looked, uh, I looked it up online, and they have them um, listed like for $24 and stuff. Oh, you sold Lady Remington. That's why That's why I thought about you when I thought Lady Remington. I knew there was some reason why I thought Barbara would know this. It sounded familiar to me. So... Okay, so it's a good, it's a good, um, long-lasting, like, brand. And they make decent, because at first I thought, well, maybe these pearls are real because they were, um, knotted in between. But did they make real stuff, Barbie? Did they make real pearls? Or did they put out real pearls? I gotta show you this closet thing, though. This is real closet with the enamel and the metal going through it. It's just a pendant. I just want the pendant off here. I think I'm going to have to... Okay, close your eyes. I'm getting the scissors out. If you don't like seeing things cut... Oh, they, they did the freshwater ones. Okay. No, these were big ones, so they must not. They must be faux. I kind of looked at them. They kind of had some wear on them, like peeling, so I thought, yeah, they're faux. But they just felt really nice. Okay, you can open your eyes back up. I had to cut it. I wanted that pendant off there. It's claws and A. It's beautiful. And it's real claws and you can feel the metal through it, through the enamel. Okay, where's my pendant? Oh, well, it freed up a tie tack. Here's a cute little tie tack that says Florida on it. It's the, it's the, I'm trying to see if it's maybe swank or something. Nah, it's got some, oh, it's got wear on it. Eh, somebody might still like it, just to, they collect tie tacks. It's the state of Florida, shape of it, it says Florida, it's a little tie tack. Oh, okay. I don't, th I've never seen, seen glass pearls. Because I thought, well, maybe these are glass pearls. But I don't know. They're heavy. I kind of claimed them together on the video. I haven't put the video up yet. I did it last night. This is my first Lady Remington I think I found. Because it was the first LR I found. The hang tag was Curse of L, Curse of R. Okay, guys, I don't know what's in here, but there's a New York necklace in here. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. This might be a New York necklace. These beads are plastic, but they're just really pretty. Um, but I'm gonna have to that's gonna be have to be worked on later because I don't want to take up all your time. I wanna get I wanna get to the good stuff in here. Okay, they can keep they're giving me all kinds of DNA I don't want. 
Oh, this is cute. This is a homemade seed bead necklace, it looks like. Multi-strand twisted. And then they, they put it together with a little button. See the attach with the button? That's cute. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. I, I heard about that. People were telling me about how all the good jewelry companies used to be, like the like the good costume jewelry companies used to all be made in Providence, Rhode Island. Because that um, brooch that I looked up that's going to be in my next auction is a bow sterling brooch. And that bow, like B-E-A-U, like a boyfriend bow. Nobody uses that term anymore, though, I don't think. Um, was made in Providence, Rhode Island. So it was a good company. Here's a nice little bracelet that is still on. Oh, this is neat. This is handmade in Kenya, like Kenya, Africa. This item has been handcrafted in Kenya from recycled or natural materials. Each of its handmade components offer a path to prosperity for thousands of African men and women. And it's one of those wrapped, paper wrapped bracelets. So that's cool. I've heard about those programs. Didn't you guys, weren't you, wasn't your church involved in some of those programs, Barbie? Where they helped out with, or, or am I wrong? Where they helped out with the African ladies who, in Africa, who were, and men, who were making these? This is still on its card, so it's called Acacia Creation. Like the Acacia tree, I'm sure that's probably Acacia tree. It's paper wrapped, and then it's got some, um, and it's got some plastic beads on it. That's neat, I like that. Okay, so we got a single earring, so I'm going to start, start a single earring pile. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm thinking you had one in your auction or something. Now, this is not a piece of jewelry. This, to me, looks like a napkin ring or a band off something. Oh, okay. This is a shoe clip, and it's a nice shoe clip. I used to when I was a novice, and for oh, it's missing a, it's missing writing stones. I started to say when I was first starting out, I would I would probably aggravate people on the jewelry sites. I wasn't trying to aggravate them, but they might have got aggravated because I was saying, are these shoe clips or are they earrings? And all, all one of them had to tell me was, look, you do not want to put that on your ear. It is like spike, so shoe clip. This one's missing stones, so it goes and repurpose. Here's a set of shoe clips. Now, these are set. They need to be cleaned. Oh, they're broke. I'm going to have a lot of repurposed jewelry. Which is okay. Some of you guys like that stuff. Ooh. I have another earring like this. Plastic, and it's painted on it. I think they'd make prettier pendants. Oh, I found a brooch. Found a brooch. Oh, I've had this brooch. It's Mark, right? I think it's Sarah Coventry or Jerry's. I found a brooch. I found a brooch. Okay, I've had this one. Amazingly, I've had this one. Let's see if I can see if it's light. Yep, it's a Jerry's gold tone, like a laurel wreath. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. Get them, Barbie. I get a thumbs down as soon as I upload videos. This is a Jerry's brooch. Jerry's is an old company, so uh, that's good. Jerry's brooches, if you wait around for them to sell, they can sell. So they will. I mean, they will sell. They can sell. They will sell for a higher price. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, cool, Cherry. I would have liked to have done that. I'd be taking a bag home every day. Ice sparks. This is a really heavy, nice piece. It looks like a shoe buckle or something, but it's unbroke. Um,
Here we have another watch, which is still in good shape. It's probably a, it's a rumors watch. Oh no. Anybody know anything about rumors? Hi, Julie. Yes, I'm finally opening it. I don't know how well people are going to see it, but I thought if I did a video of it, it was going to be too many parts. Yeah, that's my sister. Those two. I'm all, I've only got the I've only got the neck so far done. Uh, this is the huge one. I did open the other one last night, and I, I made a video of it. I just got to put it up. Ew. Well, somebody might like this. I've had these before. I've actually sold them. It's a bib necklace, but it's made. They they like glue the they glue these things on felt. Somebody usually wants it though. Well, the other one I have to wait and I have to upload it because I did it on my new camera I got. This is the this is the biggest one. This is a I don't know, just somebody put together a stretchy seed bead necklace. Dropping things. Oh. Okay, well, here's another one of those shoe clips. And actually, this one isn't broke. So this one will go with this one. But it needs to be um, cleaned up. See, they, they were shoe clips. They're just broke. Okay, I'll see you later, Barbie. I'm getting a lot of shoe clips out of here, which is weird. That's another shoe clip. Here's shoe clips, but they're broke. A lot of these shoe clips, they're all the same. They're all these, and they're all broke, except for two of them. Weird. And then another broken shoe clip. Okay, and then there's another one. I'm not too happy with these broken shoe clips. This is a nice pendant. All right, this shoe, this shoe clip, one of them's broke, one of them's not. It'll probably be pitched. I don't think anybody can redo shoe clips. Ugh. A cord. It's getting thrown away because it's a cord. I don't like cord. Okay, I think I got a necklace in here that the bees are falling on. Yeah, I got to pull it out of here. Okay, I've got a necklace that's got these purple. It's like you clip them on. They got little teeth in them, Julie. Like this. That are really like, they've got like little hooks back here. And you put them on your shoes, like right in the middle where your toes are to decorate your shoes. They were popular probably in the 80s. Yeah, it used to dress up a plain shoe like like Terry said. All right, here's a twisted gold tone necklace. I'm gonna examine more, but it's got a lot of wear on it, so it's not. I don't think it's gold. Let's see. Nope, sticks right to it. It's rope style, twisted rope style. Not that wonderful. We got another watch.
There's no... There's no name on it. Kind of neat. I'll put a battery in it try to sell it. This this bracelet uh, is interesting looking. It's a fold-over clasp. I thought it might be signed. It's gold tone. It does have a fold-over clasp. I'm surprised it is not signed, but it is pretty. It's in relatively good shape, and it looks vintage. Metal gold tone. Kind of reminds me of... Um, Oh, mod, mod style jewelry. So that's definitely resellable. Resellable. Here's just a, a nice long throw over your head necklace. Black and um, gold beads that are textured. It's just a nice bracelet that I'll resell. Oh, I found this other earring. Cool. Oh, it's broke. Ooh, drive me nuts with the broke stuff. These were nice 80s earrings, too. They should have a rule. If it's broke, don't put it in a jewelry jar. Okay, we got a statement necklace, but... What? Oh, it's not broke. Okay, it's not broke. Good. I'll show it to you on Matilda. It's a short statement necklace. Let me make sure it's not broke. Um, it's coming off, but these are different greens. These are dark greens, and then these are like a lime green. It's coming off probably different colors. But that's a nice uh, statement necklace with a lost for class. I'd say it's probably 18 inches long because the tool is not very tall. I've got it on its extender. So that's neat. There's always people out there who like those. Here's some seashells. Seashell necklace, most people don't like them, so I'm throwing it away. Remember, my jar, don't complain to me. Oh, here we go. Remember, Julie, I told you this is the one I wanted because look here. Uh, this, oh, this is actually from a house in St. Louis. This is uh, house pins by Lucinda. This is a Lucinda pin. I know they're not, like, beautiful, but the, she started the company to help, like, abused women. And, um... So this was actually at Lydia's house in St. Louis, Missouri, which is probably um, like a, sh a shelter, you know, abused woman shelter. And these can go, depending on which ones, anywhere up to 20 bucks if you sell them by themselves. And I actually have people on here who, and this is one I've never got. And it actually has the house pins by Lucinda on the back of it. So that's good. Okay, I'm pulling out another brooch because it just about poked me. Silver tone brooch, you guys like I gotta do this up or to poke me. So this is pretty. Silver tone bow brooch with black enamel in the center. I don't know if they're one of a kind or not. I want to say they are, but I don't know. I don't think so because I found I've no. I know they're not because I found other ones. But she made so many varieties of. Usually they have house and trees on them because they're called house pins. And then I found ones with ladies on them. I don't know if the company is still in business. Here's an interesting long silver tone. I don't care for the chain. It's like one of those that are at the bottom they put all the charms on. Oh, never. Oh, it's a. Wait a minute. It's got a crown on it. The Juicy Couture again? If you get the crown on the heart, you got Juicy Couture. This has the crown. But it's not marked anywhere. It says Juicy Couture. So I can't sell it as the Juicy Couture, but it looks like one. See how it's got a crown on there? But it's a good resellable necklace. 
Oh, I'm finding more brooches. So it's marked too. Urban fetishes. Somebody look that one up. Urban fetishes. I've never had a brooch mark ur urban fetishes and it sounds nasty. But it looks like this and I don't know what they're doing on there and I don't want to know what they're doing on there. But it's metal. It looks like pewter or maybe sterling silver. Someone want to look up urban fetishes for me? I guess that's the brand name of it. My hands are getting so dirty with this. Ooh, another statement necklace. Oh, I hope it's not broke. Oh, never mind, it's broke. Seriously? Maybe. Oh. oh, they're killing me with this. These are really nice, too. Look at those. Aren't those interesting looking plastic stones? The urban fetishes are from the 90s. But this is broke. It's in two pieces. I never heard of them. This is some tacky heart thrown away. Oh. Okay, well, then it's technically vintage. It says it's 1990. Oh, look, Julian Owl. Look at this cute owl necklace. Isn't that adorable? It's metal and then enamel. Then its eyes have a little tiny faux pearls. Lots of, and then it's eye, these eyes are beads. It's tangled, but it's a necklace. It's a kind of a long necklace because it's got a tangle in it. A lot of people like gals. It's in really good shape. It doesn't have a hang tag or anything. It's got a lobster class. That will definitely sell. Ow. We all have a birthday coming up, technically. I thought you said Brooke like owls. Do you like owls, too? I don't have any toothpicks. The only way I have toothpicks, I refuse to buy toothpicks. I'm so frugal, I take the ones that are at the restaurants that are in individual packages. Not stealing. I eventually use them. This is a, um, a, a de Jung. Somebody want to look this up for me? Here, I'll put it in here. This is a watch. It's spelled like this. That's how it's spelled. It's an interesting looking watch. Looks fancy. The band feels like leather. It's in really good shape. Sorry, I sniffed to make sure it's leather. Ooh, the band said it's made in France. It's made in France, and it's it's like the band is like signed. It says Aereo Comfort, and then it's signed, and it says made in France. And then I suck and watch, or is it just me? Okay, you look on that one up, Julie. Does De Jung? There's a little kid's watch. I'm going to put in the trash. I got a box over here. I'm not just throwing stuff on the floor. It's not worth much? Well, cries. I don't what that is. There's some plastic dreaded beaded uh, black beads necklace that nobody usually likes getting. Somebody decided to make a 
a stretchy bracelet. Now these shoe clips are signed and they look like, look, they look like their mother of women. They look like their mother of pearl. These are signed this. Look this up for me. M-U-S-I. Whoops. And they look like mother of pearl. They're shoe clips that are marked. Now watch me not have the other one in here. A bow repurposed. So far, guys, I'm not real impressed with their jewelry jars. I mean, Lucinda pin's good, but I knew I was getting that. Hi, Barbie. Do you know anything about M-U-S-I? It's a shoe clip mark. M-U-S-I. It's Mother of Pearl, looks like. Here's one of those uh, large Fitbit bands that you put your little Fitbit in. I'm having a fit thrown away. It's worth $35, but do you have to have the set? I don't, I don't think I have the other one. I only have one. There's just a wooden bracelet, and they've put a, a plastic bead at the bottom. I'll probably sell this wooden bracelet and the wooden, this wooden bracelet with this wooden stretchy. I'd pair them up. Oh, this is interesting. Huh? Oh, good. Hang tag, hang tag, hang tag. What does it say? Uh, Liz Claiborne. LC, Liz Claiborne. Not bad. Cute little Liz Claiborne. Classic, made to look like. What's that made to look like? Tortoise shell? Liz Claiborne necklace, tortoise shell. Fake, I'm sure. This is one of those. Uh, Made in Japan. Oh, what is it got tied around it? I just want to see where it's made. Well, those like triple stranded necklaces that you do like this. I saw those. I put those in all my lot, my lots of jewelry. Okay, here. I saw this through this, and this I've got to look up too. But I don't know how to look it up. It looks rather old, but I don't know if it is. I had a wooden hand painted. Um, this is a wooden hand painted brooch, okay? I had a wooden hand painted barrette, and I sold it for quite a bit of money for barrette because somebody said it was Russian, and the the letters on the this is hand painted. You can tell it's wooden. the 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 letters on the back of this don't look. Like our alphabet, unless it's an F O. See if you guys can tell. I don't know if you guys can tell in there. What does those letters down there look like to you? So it's signed. I think out of the the barrette, I sold it when I was first selling jewelry. I sold it for like fifteen dollars. It looks like bow, but that. First letter is not, it's like a T with a thing coming off it. So I thought maybe it was an F. See how, okay, I gotta get a pen. Hold on a minute. Got my fingernail file. That'll be gross. Let me do this. See this? There's a line and then it jets off and then it jets over. It's like a T, but then an F maybe? There's some online with this mark, but it doesn't have a W on it. It just has a that. Well, what are they? Are they Russian or something? It's wooden and hand painted. It's beautiful.
Because I think it looks like an F-O. T-O. What's everybody else think? What's that look like? Holding it still so it could pixelate. Okay. Yeah, I could do it. I could take the picture of it. I finally figured out on my phone how to take the picture of it and then do a search on the picture. Never knew I had that feature on my phone. I'll put that to the side while we keep dicking. Oh. I don't know if these are still popular, these watches that are really, really long because they wrap around your wrist. But this is a nice one. Um. I don't know if I keep it or I might keep. How do you change the battery? You have to slide that off there. That would be hard. To, I don't know if I'd keep that. I think you'd have to be in charge of changing the battery. Well, that makes some. And then I got a watch band, I guess, without the middle part. This is. Well. It's a genuine leather red part of a watch band. I think somebody buy a. That's what I thought it was the artist's signature, but I wonder what it says so you could uh, look at it. Oh, here's another one of those wrists. Oh, this one's fancy dancy. My, oh my. This is when you want to go out and look, you got chains hanging off of you, and you got your wrap, and you got your sparklies. Look at that. This is a, it's not even named. This is one of those wraparound watches. I can change the back to that, and I can sell that. It's kind of it's kind of neat, but does anybody still wear the wraparounds? Another one of them shoe clips, and it's broke. Oh, does paparazzi sell them? This is an interesting necklace. Let me get it put together so I can get it on Matilda. I like to lot up my necklaces by pound lots and sell them. It's got spikes on it. It's silver tone with little spikes on it. I don't know what that is because it looks too little to be a bracelet. Oh, I think I got another one of those watches. No, I got a different watch. Hey, this is a Tommy Hilfinger watch. Isn't that worth money? Tommy Hilfinger genuine leather watch. Uh, Wouldn't I get some, a good amount of money out of this? Decent amount? Says Tommy Hilfiger right on it, genuine leather on the band. And it's the Tommy Hilfiger symbol up there. And it says Hilfiger right there. And I got watch batteries, I can change them. It's in decent shape. Has 0378 on it. Cool. Maybe that, that's worth $20 for the, the thing. There's another one of them Fitbit things. I'm throwing them away because these aren't really the Fitbit ones. I think they're just a generic one. Oh, I hate these beads. These beads always remind me of snakes when you feel them. Or those, you know what they remind you of? The snakes that you, um, the firework snakes that you light and they look like turds. I'm sorry, they just do. But they're called snakes. I, that's what those beads look like. 
They're wooden. Well, this is a very specific lapel pin because it's got somebody's all three initials on it. S M A. So I might be able to sell that is a lapel pin. Wish people would quit calling these hat pins. They're not hat pins, they're lapel pins. Hat pins are long. Plastic pendant. I'm gonna see this bake light. No. Interesting um bead and necklace. Spring clasp. I put in a lot of necklaces and stuff. I got another watch down here. So this is pretty. Heart brooch. It's enamel. Cool. Let's see. I got a watch face. No, wait, it's not a watch. What is it? What the heck is this? All right, guys, help me out here. See this? Now watch. What is this? Does it open up like a compact? Is it a pillowcase? What is it? Yeah, I get a lot of lapel pins. I sell them to one specific buyer. She buys my lapel pins. But look at this, guys. It's like enamel. And it's got this right. And then it rolls like this. But then it doesn't open. What is this? Those look like handcuffs. It feels like it should open. I'm taking this to it. Like a secret box. It won't open. I have no clue either. Oh, is that one of those things that you you put on the table and then you can put your purse on it? You know how you hang it over the table? Oh, <laughs> I just figured it, Ruth. Thank you. It's one of those things, Julie, that you put um, over the side of the table like when you're at a restaurant and you don't want your purse to be on the floor. And so then you hang your purse on it off the table. Okay, how do they get bracelets in here that I can't get back out? I broke it because it's look how huge that sucker is. Look, it goes over my wombo hands. I had to bend it to get it out there. So a large size um, for us who have white hands. Hi, Edward. Edward is in Ireland, right? You're in Ireland, right, Edward? Maybe I should be saving these Fitbit things. Julie, I don't understand what you said. You, pro you said probably got someone neck for. I think Edward's in Ireland. There's a cross. It's not a rosary. Because they're not separated. I don't think it is. I don't know. One, two, three. I don't know. They are separated beads, but. Nine and then one, two, three. Then 10. Maybe that's a rosary. They're separated beads. Oh, okay. Gotcha. He says diddly I diddly. I guess he means he is from Ireland. What time is it in Ireland? 
It's probably a rosary. I don't know. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this, guys. Oh. It was a ring, I bet you. It's the top of a ring. That's probably not real turquoise. Let's see if this is sterling silver. One twenty-five a.m. Ooh, it's not. It's not sticking. You want to test it real quick? See if it's silver. See how it had like the ring, a ring band on it. It's not sticking. I'd say that's real turquoise, possibly if it's real silver. Edward says it's one twenty-five a.m. Top of the morning to you, too. I asked somebody in England if they were making fun of us. I asked them to be honest with me. So I'll ask Edward, too, since he's in Ireland. Um, do you guys make fun of us because we got Trump for president? I asked somebody that. They're like, you? I asked somebody that in England. I'm like, oh, they were like, oh, yeah. Are you going by Google? Edward might have his clock set fast. I'm going to test this and see if it's real silver. So I have this little um, stone that you get with the testing. Oh, you feel sorry for us all? Me too. <laughs> and then you scratch a little bit on there on the stone. Then you take your silver acid. Barbie, no acid for you. Barbie can't play with acid. Kid won't let her. And then where you made that scratch mark, you put some on there. And if it turns this really, really bright, it's not bright. It's like this really deep, rusty orange color. It's real. And it is not turning that color. So it's not real sterling silver. Well, you did kind of burn your fingers wrapping them up that time, Barbie. So I think Ken's probably got a good idea by not letting you have some acid. Well, it's still a cool looking uh, ring top. Somebody who could uh, put a band on there and make their own cool looking ring. Certainly would be interesting. I think it would make a cool ring. I know it's big, but I like big rings. Look at that. Very nice big ring. I would give it to somebody if they would make me a ring. Are you eating Whoppers? You mean Whoppers like the hamburger or Whoppers like the malted candy? What's Jig's dinner? Oh, Barbie said she had a Whopper Jr. I thought Julie was just out of the blue saying she had a Whopper. I was kind of worried about you, but now I see what's going on. Okay. Oh. I don't care for Burger King's burgers. I'm trying to get my acid put back together, guys, so be with me because I have to, like, wrap it up twice and be careful with it and do all this stuff so it doesn't get leak everywhere and burn everything up. I need to buy me a new acid kit. If anybody would like to go down there on my channel, I do have an Amazon wish list, and you can buy me one. And you know I'm joking when I say that. I don't expect people to buy me anything. Do you know that I watch these uh, YouTube people, and people buy them, like, they have to go buy, I watch this one family, they have to go buy, they spend like $300 a month for US, for UPS 
this box because people send them so much stuff. Yeah, Irish beef there. Was it like a like a roast, Edward? Does that mean you put beer in it? I'm joking. Look, I've got Irish in me. So we've got Irish and Scottish. This is a simple little necklace, but it's pretty. I think I'm going to have to like do the, that light down. Is that better? Can you see better or is that worse? I'm going to turn this one on. Oops. It's getting dark here. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, they use Irish beef here. Okay. Gotcha. I thought, I thought what you said. I thought you said I had Irish beef. Sorry, I'm like, I, when I read, it seems like as I've gotten older, I skip over things as I'm reading. I don't know, Burger King, their burgers are just messy. They just, I hate all, I always tell them, I, all that ketchup and mayonnaise on there is, ugh. Okay, I got some good beads here, and they're marked. See, I knew they were good beads. They're marked, but it's, they're rep. Okay, close your eyes. I, I'm cutting something. Close your eyes if you don't like to see jewelry destroyed because I'm sorry, it's wrapped around something good and it's coming off there. I'll tell you when you can open them. Okay. Don't open them yet. Hi, CD. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done cutting. You can open it up. These are uh, a good beaded necklace, and let me look and see what it's marked because it is marked. Oh, great! It's marked a symbol. I don't know. There's no way I can show you on camera because it would never show up. It's a copyright symbol. These beads are really heavy. I know they look like cheapy, but they're really heavy. I thought it was maybe a Monet. But it's... <sighs> What's crop? What's... What is that? Cranch. Ranch dressing with something in it? Oh, ketchup mixed with ranch dressing? I don't know. Okay, the symbol is a flower, guys. It's a flower, like a daisy flower, with a stem and one leaf. Does anybody know any jewelry that their symbol is a daisy flower with with the with the stem going down and a leaf, then a copyright symbol? Oh, I've heard, I've seen the mayonnaise and the ketchup mixed together. I didn't know they had the ranch and the ketchup. Does anybody know that um symbol? They're not cold, Edward. That's what I thought, too, because they feel heavy. They're so heavy. But they're not cold. But it's a little symbol of like a daisy on its side with the stem and, and then the petal. And then a little tiny um, copyright symbol. It's got a spring clasp. I mean, I can put it up there, but there's no way you guys are going to be able to see that. Oh, hi, Angie. You've seen the flower, but you don't know what it is? Okay. They have ketchup mixed with barbecue sauce, too. Yeah, that's falling at me. It's a cute little three-stranded necklace. It's got faux pearls in it, but the faux pearls are wire-wrapped. Hold on a minute. They're wire-wrapped. You can see that? I like wire-wrapped. So that's neat. And it's got a lobster class. I'll clean that up and sell it with the rest of the. Oh, the dreaded cord. Got a peace sign on it, too. We'll throw that way in honor of Barbie's father because he never would let her wear a peace sign. So we threw it away. Your dad would be proud. Oh, that was a broken chain.
I'm pulling out some single earrings, and I'm going to show them to you guys if I find the mates. One of those roll-on um, beads, beaded bracelets. No, I don't. Sometimes my memory works pretty good, Barbie. Other times, I've walked to the bathroom before and turn around and go sit down and half an hour later remember that I walked to the bathroom because I had to go to the bathroom. And then other times I remember stuff. Go figure. I've actually done that. And it was recently. You know what I did last night? I laid down and took a nap. Got up. It was like 7.30. I looked out the window, thought the sun was coming up, thought it was Monday morning, 7.30, and did not figure it out until I got down to the bathroom. I thought, uh-oh, no, it's not. It's still Saturday night. It's still, it's, I thought it was Sunday morning. I still thought, no, it's not. It's still Sunday. It's still Saturday night. <sighs> okay, feathers. We don't like feathers. Okay, this is what I got left, guys. So I think I'm going to pour this out somewhere on something. I don't know on what though. I could put it. That probably wouldn't be good. Because I need to like, I know I'm going to have to sort this and I've already got my tray full of stuff. Hit <laughs> it. I'm sorry, it's a lost cause. Not only is he a man, he's a husband, so. Enough said. He won't remember what you said. I'm going to go get a tray to put this on. All right. Sorry, guys, I'm moving around, but okay, I gotta move you guys back a little bit because I gotta have room for this tray. Okay, you're gonna hear a bunch of dumping out noise, but we're gonna dump the rest of this out because I think it's earrings and stuff. So it's just gonna be... There you go. Okay, here's that wrap bracelet you saw, Julie. Some people buy these, like us girls who, um, here, sorry, let me move the light. Like us girls who can't, who have white hands. So this is a nice, um, seated wrap bracelet, wrap bracelet. I usually group these together with some stretchies and sell them. It's like a gold tone brown. Oh my goodness. Well, this is some concoction that says home is where you feel happy, but they must have been high on something when they made this because it's like this monstrosity, then an earring, then a cord, then an ID bracelet. I think they were whacked out. It was like an art school project gone wrong. I, well, it, it went in my trash. We got a fingernail filer because, you know, when I think jewelry, I think fingernail filer. Here's another shoe clip. So this is a jar that had the money in it. And I, my, oh, I had dime. Oh, look. Look, I made a dime back. Okay, cool. It's probably the one I've got saved, but yeah. This is a shoe clip. I'm going to try to see what this money is. Unless this is a token. Hey, look, guys. I got a euro. I got a one euro coin. Robert, to you, do you guys use Euro or do you use Irish? Irish have their own currency. Are they? Are you in the European Union? Sorry for my stupidity. Robert still here? Not Robert. Edward. Why did I call you Robert? Edward, are you still here? 
Uh, do you use euros or do you use uh, Irish currency? This is one euro. So this is a, this is what your euros look like because it says one euro on it. Did you guys have to vote to stay in the that Britex thing? Did you guys have to vote on that? Did you vote to stay in? Oh, you won't have to tell me. So I got a euro. That's pretty cool. Cool. Well, look, I got a Grant's Farm coin. Well, when we go to Grant's Farm, Julie, I don't need to get one of those. Anybody know a little girl named Casey? Because there's her barrette. Here's a brooch, a little tree. Oh no, Vita's husband passed away. Oh. That's sad. Oh, I got one from Disney too. Ooh, these are nice glass beads. They look like evil eyes staring at you. Hi, Patricia. I have opened, you missed, you'll have to rewatch. I opened this huge jar of jewelry. These are um, glass beads, really heavy. Somebody must have been to um Hey look Pat uh Pat Patricia, there's a half there's a crescent moon lapel pin. Somebody must have went to Disney World because I've got some Disney World um uh, charms in here. Here's the Magic Kingdom Castle and then here's Mickey Mouse. Hey, did you guys hear that the lady who did Minnie Mouse's voice um, on the cartoons, she died, like yesterday. Hey, I need this. A little charm that says diabetic on it. I'm finding some buttons in here, guys. Here's some more glass beads. Hi, Vicky. Sorry, I was looking down. I didn't see you come in. I'm just kind of like picking out the good stuff in here, guys, because there's some weird looking stuff in here that's probably just going to go in the trash. I'm trying to see if I have anything that is made it up. This is pretty. This pretty pendant. It looks like. Okay, I don't know how to do this. It looks like Mother of Pearl and it's like carved in a rose. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, Vicki. How are you doing, too? Because you had your surgery. Oh, man. They wanted $3 for this. Oh, this is a whacked out, crazy looking bunny. Ooh, but it's smart. Okay, this is a pendant, and he looks psycho. It's a white enamel bunny. You guys see that? But doesn't he look kind of weird? His tail is the pendant part. Oh, good, Jennifer. I'm good, Vicky. But he's Mark. Let's see what he's Mark. I have no idea. I cannot read it. 
Talk just amongst yourselves while I try to read this. Well, it's 1998, whatever it is. I think it says Fistner. P H I S T E R. Anybody ever heard of that? No, I haven't found any more Lady Remington Barbie. Oh, I bet you want the staples gone. Has anybody ever heard of P H I S T E R? Fistner? And this is incorporated 1998. Night, Edward. You've heard of it, Julie? P-H-I-S-T-E-R-O. Well, I'm looking it up real quick. I'll still be on camera, but I'm looking it up. Hey, I found it. It's Fister. It's um, a, a rabbit charm. Rhinestone's eyes. They've got listed on Etsy. For $9. Ooh, 63 staples in her back. Ugh, I want to remove two. Yeah, she had she had like a seven hour back surgery, Julie. It was supposed to be five hours, but it went longer. I looked it up. It's uh it was on Etsy. Here's a little here's one of those pins like you like, Patricia. Oh, it was nine hour? I'm sorry. I thought it was seven. Wow. Because wasn't it supposed to be five? Oh, man. A little stretchy bracelet. Found some pretty earrings, but I can't find the mate. There. Arrow. Hey, finally, I found a ring. Man, this is a size five ring. This may have to have a very small finger. Don't look, I'm throwing stuff away. Fox amongst yourselves, you can't see what I'm doing. You don't know. Look, that's a cute bobby pin. It's decorated. I know, can you imagine? Well, I think it was cool that I found a euro in here. This is a pretty pendant.
Julia just doesn't have a strong stomach. She can't touch like raw meat and stuff. I wish I could find this other earring. Oh, yeah, Jen, I don't know if you haven't been around. Uh, Julia, Julia, which I call her Julie. Everybody calls her Julie, but her actual name is Julia. She's my sister. Oh, I found 925. I found 925. I found 925. I found a 925 cross. It's marked 925 on the back of it. We got we to gotta test it. I found silver. I'm getting the acid back out, Barbie. Don't look. Hi, Gail. I found this little, um, more loop de loop though. It says 925 and it has some other symbol. It's a cross pendant. So we're going to test it and see if they're lying to us or not. Because anybody can buy a stamp, remember, but you don't always know if it's 925. Oh, she's doing well. Thanks for asking, Gail. I had a doctor's appointment in the morning. I just remembered. Yeah, it's it's Julia, Melissa, Michelle. Yeah. It's real silver. Yes, yes, yes. So I found I found silver in them their jar. In that their jar. Yeah, see, she puts gloves on to patty her. I remember when her kids had flu one time. I took them home with me because she couldn't take her puke. It didn't bother me. It's not the best thing to have to watch, but it didn't bother me. So I found silver, and I'm going to show you guys how the red turned. I scratched some of that. I hope you guys see this. I'll try not to, like, turn it off. I don't think you guys can see this. Okay, you see that? That's how when you scratch it on and you put the acid, that's the color it turns. It turns like this bright, burnt orange red color, and you know that it's silver. Pretty cool. 925 pendant. So this jar was worth 20 bucks. I've got a lot, lot worse things for twenty dollars in a jar. Yeah, I like your finger. I can only imagine. But if you can't feel your fingers, I guess you didn't feel it. That was the whole point of it the happening, right? Oh, mom's here. Uh, Joyce is my mom, guys. Everybody always calls her Frugal's mom, but that Joyce right there is mom. I just found silver, mom. Well, we were talking about Jennifer on here. Jennifer's got 65 or 60 staples in her back from her back surgery. She still has them in there. Yes, very cool silver. Okay, I still got a few more little things to look at down here on this tray. So, I mean, that was like, and then I found that euro. I think that's neat that I found a euro. 
This earring is so pretty. I wish I'd find the other one. Well, since there was silver in there, I'm looking for it. There's some little pennants down here. I'm looking for some other silver. Got another Disney charm. For somebody who collects Disney stuff like that. Oh, they're mostly on your side. Oh, how long you been? How long you been on here, Mom? Well, they wanted a dollar ninety nine for this little stone um, pendant heart pendant. Oh no, you lo you mostly lay on my sides. Okay, I'm, I'm skipping some of the chat because I keep looking down. Oh, I got your package yesterday, Barbie. Thank you for the. I really like the um, Avon brooch, the presidential brooch. It's really pretty. I just put that there. Okay, the rest. Ew, what is that? There's a bead, but it's a glass bead that they made an earring out of. Oh, uh, when you order a gold, uh, uh, a testing kit, you get this little thing with it, Julie. It's just a little stone thing. They, I, most people get their black when they get, they get the black ones. This is, it's a real hard scratch thing and you scratch it on there. It's got, it's got like rubber on the back so it don't slip on the table. Uh, it came with the set that I ordered with the acid. They just call it a, a metal tested stone. Dude, this looks like an old brooch. Look at that brooch, guys. Doesn't that look old? Oh, does it? Oh, they're good. Then I'll put them Disney charms on Poshmark. I got about five, four or five of them. They're like the mouse ears, the castle. They're little charm pendants. I got three right here. I got the mouse ears and then this with the Mickey Mouse ears with the thing behind it. I got the Magic Kingdom Castle. Maybe that's it. Maybe I only got three. Well, I gotta keep this up because that's 925. All right, Barbie. Mom's only been on here about three minutes. This is kind of a pretty little necklace. Gunmetal gray. I'm just kind of going through this, this, this stuff down here at the bottom that is. Uh... Oh, I found that other one. Okay, aren't these the kind of earrings you wear that you wear them like and they they travel up your ear like this? Hold on. I'll show you what I mean. Whoops. These, whoops. I'm sure there's a certain style. They're called a certain style. Where you, when you put them on, you put them through your, your, when you put them through your piercing, they go like this. Oh no, you wipe it off. You wipe it off and you keep using it. It's it's really hard stone. I, I need to buy, um, I had a whole kit of acids to test different, like you get them, you test 14 karat gold, 12 karat, 10 karat, 14 and 18 karat gold, and maybe 24 platinum. And then you get it a set and you get sterling sil the silver one. Uh, 
But you can only keep them. They like go bad after six months. Okay, the rest of this is just like bits and bobs that's broken. And, and I don't see, and, and bobby pins, actually bobby pins. So I don't see anything else saving. I'm going to save that euro. And I made 10 cents because I got a diamond there. I made a euro. I wonder how much a euro is in, Amer is in a U.S. money. After Google search. One euro equals how many? Let me, let's see. One euro. Two dollars. Yes, that was stuff getting thrown away. Hey, one euro is equal to one dollar and eleven cents. So I made a dollar twenty one just by opening this jar because I got a euro and a dime. Dollar eleven cents. And 10 cents make 121. Oh, okay, yeah. They're called something. Yeah, they make your ears like they're look like, like they're pierced all the way up. Can't remember what there's there's a style to them, a, a style name to them. Where's my thing that loop de loop goes in? So was this jar worth thirty? Worth thirty? Was this jar worth twenty dollars? Yes. I can't find Luke Dulu's case. Oh, there it is. I think it was. We found sterling silver. We found sterling silver. Yeah, it was worth twenty dollars. So um, I want to go back up to St. Louis and go to that Salvation Army. My favorites was the sterling silver, and then this brooch. I gotta look it up. I think it's it's. I think this might be something. The only thing that's making me think it's not is the back of it is actually a safety pin. So maybe somebody made it. I don't know. It's like a safety pin down the wood. Oh, cool! I got those Lady Remington pearls out of the other jewelry jar that I opened last night. So, yeah, I think it's Russian too, Barbie. Did you see that? Did you see this? Were you here? Did you see that? What does that look like to you, Barbie? We're trying to figure out what the what these two letters are. I mean, I know it's an O, but is that an F or what? I will. I, I'll I'll open up the the sorry. I'll open up the jewelry um from Shop Goodwill on another vi live video. I don't want to do it now. I've got, I mean, look at all this jewelry that I have to sort. Because I just put it on a tray. Okay. This is all the jewelry. Show you guys. Oh, it's heavy. So look. You can't see. This is all the jewelry I have to sort. Oh, it's a fancy B or an H. Okay. Well, I didn't pick up as many. Um, CD because I want to open them and make sure that they, you know, were decent for the price because I didn't know how they put them together. Like the one I opened up last night, I didn't really feel like it was worth it. You'll see on the videos when I put them together. I have my stuff sorted. I, if you guys haven't went and watched my video for my upcoming auction, please go watch it so you'll get a clear view of what will be in my auction. And that's all the stuff that will be in my auction this thursday i've got them i've got to like label bags and put those in individual ones yeah i looked up julie i saw you've got like four or five salvation armies around there is it your local one by you julie is it as nice as that one
Okay, cool, cool. So that Russian brooch, I should get some money from it. What do you mean can watch my video with tomatoes? Oh, the video. Oh, the video I did of the property. I was like, tomatoes. Is Barbie losing it? I hear a lot of people online say that their Salvation Armies are really bad and they got great Goodwills, but I've had more success with Salvation Armies. We don't have any estate sales. I've been wanting to do that too, Julie, is come to St. Louis and hit some estate sales. Have you ever went to any estate sales up there? Well, if yours is bad, why do you want me to take it? Why do you want me to take me to the local one? I thought that one we went to was really good. I gotta get those shoes listed on Poshmark, those flip flops I bought. What's not your problem? See, we don't have estate sales around here. They have them up in the city where she lives. I don't know if they're any good. We don't, have any, we don't even have good yard sales down here. But look at this pretty ring I found in my um, hall last night. It's real, not this one. Not this one, this one. Well, on the big finger, it's really delicate silver tone. It's got some like rhinestones in it, but it fits this finger. Well, I'm keeping it. I don't feel like sorting this jewelry tonight. We didn't have anything to use this on. I like a state sales too, but I've only been to one. It was in Arkansas. We need to, I need to go up to St. Louis and go to some. Oh, that's, that's good, Barbie. What's awful? I'm not keeping up with this. What's awful, Julie? Julie, am I right in, in thinking that when you use this diamond thing, when you put it on a thing, if it goes all the way to the red, that means that it's a diamond? Because when I put it on one of these stones in here, it goes to red. But not the other stones. It's weird. Well, then why let me? Why do you want to take me to the local Salvation Army if everything's overpriced and there's no jewelry? Yeah, and on the big ones that don't even detect. Yeah, it's not going to win. I have nothing to detect. Oh, local Goodwills. Okay, gotcha. I'm back. I'm off. Oh. I have not opened the Goodwill bag. It's seven pounds of jewelry. The Goodwill bag is seven pounds of jewelry. But I thought I got confused and I thought I was bidding on one that was from Pennsylvania. And I bid and I actually won one that was from Florida. And I usually don't like the jewelry from Florida. This is neat, I could play with this. Julie gave me this. It's a it's a diamond detector. And you know what, Julie? You had a nine volt battery in here. It was just dead. I had a hard time getting it out of there. Hey, Julie. This is that camera I got. 
It's on my tripod. And then it's got a I filmed on it last night. And then it's got in the back the flip out screen while you're filming and it's you can twist it. These when they were brand new, I was telling other people, I don't know if you were on here yet. When they were brand new, they cost four hundred and eighty dollars because the canon. I paid 45 and that was with shipping. That was a sh free shipping. I'm cheap. They don't have a state sales there. I look online as for a state sales, Julie, and I'll put in like a radius from Rolla and I never find any. And the only ones they list is like down towards Springfield or up towards St. Louis. Uh, that's what it is. You can watch videos on them on YouTube. If it goes all the way in the red, it's a diamond. If it stays in that other color, it, it's it's not a diamond. I'm pretty sure. I've watched enough videos. Like pillbox hats, see the? That's what Jackie Kennedy always wore. Are you getting sick, Barbie? I used to see a lot of hats um, when I was a teenager and I went to thrift stores with my mom. And I used to buy them even though I couldn't wear them and I'd, I'd put them in my bedroom on my antique dresser. But I don't hardly run across any hats anymore in antique stores. Just maybe, I mean, really not hardly at all. Look, I look like I don't have no eyebrows. I look like an alien. Oh, I want to take you to the local dude, but you need to pay. Can you tell that she's my older sister? She's just a bit bossy. She'll treat me like I'm a little kid. Okay, you want to take me to the local Goodwills, but you said the local Goodwills weren't any good. I'll go with any thrift store. What, which just follow an estate? I don't know. I don't know of any estate companies around here. I'm the youngest, so I have nobody younger than me, Jennifer. According to my sister, she always used to tell people I was 26. I think she probably still tells them I'm 26. I'm 43, and she's still telling people I'm 26. I can't read all this at once, Julie. See, Mom took my side. They clear estates and do sale for... Oh, okay. We just have a lot of auction people around here. I thought that would be a cool business to go into. Clear some of my stuff out and then sell it. I didn't know why I was why I needed to pay attention. And then why did you say nice? That's basically why I wanted that camera because when when I uh, film, I see people film with these. And I use them for YouTube. That way I could have it pointed at me but still have that flip out part. I don't know. It filmed pretty good, but I don't know how. I need a bigger memory card for it. I don't know why this is twisted like this. It's driving me crazy. Oh, really? 
No, I never, around here, when I look up estate sales, like I said, I'll put in the zip code and then put a certain mile radius. And I, every once in a while, will come across that they'll have one on um, an estate sale. But usually it's auctions. The Goodwill store in my area is horrible. Basically, you go in there if you want to buy clothes. I'm not buying clothes for that much, for what they want for them. I can't figure out why this is crooked. Oh, okay. I misinterpreted what you said. I thought you meant. Well, you said I want to take it to my local Salvation Army, and then you said. Well, that one we went to was good. I guess. What do you have one right there? Okay, I can't figure out why this is doing this. I'll take it off. I thought you told me well, I was 26. Well, I haven't been 26 for a long time. Or 27. This thing is bothering me. It won't move right. Barbie's 37, although she has a 30-year-old da daughter who just turned 30, so figure that one out. Okay, I got it now. Salvation Army, bad, good, will, good. I'm trying to figure out why my thing. Well, guys, I got no. I've got more jewelry, but I'm not opening it. No matter what Julie wants me to do, I, I'll do another video. I guess I can let you guys go. Um, I'm trying to figure out why this is not working right. I don't know. I have to take it apart. Why my tripod is not doing what I want it to do. So we found silver. We found, I'm going to look up this Russian, um, brooch. I still like this watch. And then we found that Tom, where did I put that Tommy Hilfiger watch? Tommy Hilfiger watch. I think I'll try to sell that on Poshmark. With age comes wisdom, right? Yeah, I've seen that before, Julie, because I've noticed it in, the, in Walmart, they're expensive. I'll get, I usually get everything. I'll get off. I want about a, I don't know. I've only got an egg eight in there right now. I want a bigger one. It was supposed to come with a, with a, um, with a card and I thought it did but then I, it had the card in the package and I like opened it and it was gone I'm like what okay guys I'll talk to you guys later um I've only had a salad today and I need to eat something so remember we made a dollar 21 right there
Got silver, got Russian, got Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger watch. All right, guys, see you guys later. I'm going to keep this uploaded. It was since it wasn't like a late night chat. Everybody have a good night. A oh, one mile from your house is a good one. Okay. I'm all for going to a, a decent Goodwill. All right. Night, everybody. You're 27. I'm 27 and you're 31. That doesn't even add up right. We're six years apart. Yeah, goofball. I think I hear somebody setting off fireworks. Are you kidding me? All right, guys.